Hey guys, this is Angel bringing you another video on my high desert garden. Uh, I was out here a couple days ago making my June garden video tour. And um, at that time, at the beginning of the video, I was uh, filming my uh, the uh, progress of my cucumbers. And I noticed um, that uh, it was uh, infested with uh, black flies or aphids, some black type of aphids. And uh, the plant was right here. At that time, it was already, I think it was already too late for the plant. I removed it because uh, it was um, with nonsense to uh, compromise uh, the, re the remaining of the plants, which uh, by the way, uh, they are already starting to uh, climb up this uh, plant that was next to it. So what I did is that as soon as the video was over, my brother across the way uh, let me borrow some um, homemade uh, pesticide that, um, that he made uh, out of uh, garlic, uh, some type of um, vegetable oil, and soap. I sprayed the plant and uh, most of the uh, aphids uh, died and I was amazed of the uh, results. So I asked him for the uh, recipe, he gave it to me, and I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to make it step by step. And uh, once I'm done with that, I'm going to make my own. And I'm going to keep spraying uh, this plant like once every three days. Okay, the first thing we need is uh, some garlic. And I'm gonna use um, two of these uh, big heads right here that I just uh, harvested about a month ago. They should be just about ready. So I'm gonna get this one. And I'm also gonna get this one right here. That should do it. So you need two complete heads. So I'm gonna separate all the claws, uh, peel them and um, let's get right to it okay so the uh, garlic uh, claws have been peeled for the most part i think i, I got all the peeled about probably about 90 percent the next uh, step is going to be to uh, grind them i'm going to put it put them inside the uh, blender Okay, so the next step is to add about two liters of water, that's 0.5, 1.2, 1.7. That right there is about two liters of water. We're gonna get a pot. We're gonna pour some water into the pot. And uh, we're gonna add the um, our garlic, the one that we just uh, blended. Man, that smells so bad. Wow. No wonder the boss don't like this stuff. That is wow, wow, wow. Very strong smell, y'all. Okay, so it's been about, my goodness, already been about 10 minutes and the water is not boiling yet. I'm gonna wait until it starts boiling, which is, uh, should be happening any moment now. And that will be the total of 10 minutes. Or just uh, depending on the um, on the uh, flame of your stove. This one, you know, I should have used the, uh, the power burner. But this one is just a slow burner. Uh, but I would say just wait until it starts boiling. And then you can turn the, uh, the fire, the, um, you can turn, turn, off, turn off the, uh, the stove. Oil. So I'm going to use uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of uh, any dish, so any liquid soap that you have handy, and also, this is my own invention, 
I'm gonna add um, two extra um, teaspoon, teaspoons of uh, neem oil. I just had it laying around, so why not? I'm gonna give this uh, experiment a shot, and um, let's get right to it. Okay, so there you have it. I couldn't uh, record a video and uh, as I'm adding all the uh, ingredients, but uh, just uh, as I said, two of each, two tablespoons of each. You can just do uh, the um, uh, liquid soap and any any um, vegetable oil that you have around. You don't have to use uh, neem oil. You don't have to add that, but I just added. You know, I have it there, so why not? So all you gotta do now, you're gonna mix it really well. And after this, you're gonna add it onto your pot right here. It's nice and hot. Don't forget that, that once um, you have the um, this uh, pesticide ready to go, you need to let it cool down. Otherwise, you're gonna hurt your plant if you start spraying hot liquids into it. That makes perfect sense. Man, this stuff smells so bad. Ooh, ooh, man, these bugs are not gonna like it. All right. As I was saying, uh, I know for a fact that it works because um, as soon as I um, sprayed the uh, the solution that my brother gave me, the uh, aphids they I killed them. I killed most of them because um, this morning, I, uh, three days later, I went back to the same plant and uh, there were still some uh, that were still alive, but that is because I did not spray them um, uh, properly. Uh, you're supposed to soak the whole plant and because I didn't have so much of this stuff laying around, I just uh, did what I could. All right, so that bad boy is completed, it's done. I'm gonna put it in, um, I'm gonna let it cool down for whatever it takes, two hours, three hours, I don't care. And I'm gonna finish this video tomorrow. Okay, so the uh, liquid homemade pesticide, it's all completed, it's all done. As you can see, it almost looks like a fresh made lemonade. Just don't let this uh, jar laying around anywhere around the house because someone will drink it and boy uh, they gonna, they're going in for a big surprise right so uh, I forgot to mention that uh, you, you must uh, strain it you must uh, remove all the uh, pulp uh, from the uh, garlic otherwise you're gonna plug your uh, sprayer you don't want to do that so I already strained it and I'm about to uh, empty the uh, liquid uh, pesticide into this container right here you can use whatever you have um, laying around just make sure you uh, put it away so it doesn't get confused with uh, laundry uh, detergent or whatnot or even Windex so let me see if I can do this while I'm recording it's no big deal nothing not, nothing to it and after this uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll go ahead and spray uh, the uh, entire plant there's only one plant that has been uh, affected uh, with uh, black aphids, or I don't know what they are. Okay, here's the plant right here that I've been talking about. You can't really see the aphids because they are hiding under the uh, leaves, but uh, I don't know if you can see that on the video, but uh, there they are. Not too many of them. But believe me, uh, they will multiply if you just let them be. So we're gonna uh, spray this uh, plant entirely. I don't care if it takes me the whole two liters of uh, uh, liquid uh, pesticide homemade. But the whole purpose is to save all these plants right here. And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, this uh, experiment is gonna be successful. I've seen other videos of people um, making their own um, pesticides and I don't know if they were successful or not but uh, in my uh, garden channel my uh, high desert garden channel I will not lie about the results I'm gonna be 100% honest about the uh, results 
And this, trust me, will save you so much money. Not only that, but uh, if you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, they don't have anything for aphids. Uh, they claim to have uh, good products, but uh, they really don't work. So I really hope this uh, solution uh, works, and I will definitely keep you updated. Now, if you, in case you're wondering why uh, the ing ingredients, uh, the ones that we use, why? Why garlic, why oil, and why soap? Well, garlic, let's start with the garlic. Garlic, it stinks so bad. So that alone is gonna be a, a repellent uh, for bugs. Now, you wanna make sure that the, uh, that the repe repellent sticks within the leaves. So that's where the oil comes, uh, comes along. The oil is gonna be your sticky uh, source that will make sure that the uh, garlic solution sticks within the, uh, stays within the plant for quite some time. And that will, and the garlic will keep uh, bugs from coming back and lay, uh, lay their eggs. And soap, soap is gonna be the, uh, the uh, liquid that is going to kill your aphids. Uh, once again, uh, garlic is gonna be a repellent the oil is going to be the sticky substance that's going to make sure that the garlic liquid stays within the, uh, the leaves. And the uh, soap is going to, going to kill those, they, those guys right there. Look at that. So many little tiny eggs. So uh, believe me, I can't wait to see uh, the uh, results. All right, guys. So this is all I have for you guys today on this uh, experiment. I really hope it works. I'm going to spray that plant. I'm gonna finish spraying this plant from under the leaves. I'm gonna try to hit every single leaf and uh, on every plant. And if I am successful, trust me, you will find out. If I fail, you also find out because I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Uh, I'm also gonna be spraying the rest of the uh, cucumber plants that are planted on the other side of the yard. I'm also gonna be hitting the uh, zucchinis, why not? just for precautions and um also, and that's it i uh, really hope you like this video and i'm gonna i'm gonna see you on the next high desert garden if you like this content please leave your comments and your likes if you will thank you very much for watching and i will see you on the next video tour bye bye